breathing new life into Israel's failed landing of the bear sheet capsule on the moon last spring. British billionaire Len Blavatnik has invested $1 million in a Space IL's bear sheet program. Joining us live is Kfir Damari, co-founder of Space IL. Hello and uh, welcome to the show. Hello. Very exciting. I mean, we remember... Obviously, last spring, the amount that kids were learning were both parents about the bear sheet mission. You know, unfortunately, it didn't make the landing, but it sounds like there's a huge push and a huge opportunity for take two. So totally, you know, although we crashed on the moon, we looked at it as the, on the impact on Earth and we saw millions of kids that were excited and are still excited from science, from technology, and about the possibility of going and exploring the universe. And now with the support of uh, Len Blavatnik, we can start building the next mission, the next spacecraft, and taking Israel back to the moon. Amazing. So what is the timeline? Like, how long does it take to actually build it and to, you know, prepare the design? I imagine it's a long process. So first of all, it's a long process. We do have now the know-how and knowledge from the first mission. And this donation, the $1 million will be used to assemble the team that can take this project forward. Mm -hmm. We'll still need to raise the, a lot of money. But when we'll actually start, when we have enough money we and we'll... It will start, it will take roughly two years. Two years. And, you know, this is a great opportunity, you know, for Israeli children and, you know, obviously children all over the world to, to start getting an interest. What is it about the unique, uniqueness of this project on, on how, it's affecting, how it's affecting young students and what the future could be of our children? So I think, in general, there are three things that excite kids. Uh, they say it's uh, space, robots, and dinosaurs. <laughs> and, you know, we, we like to say we, we have uh, two out of three. Uh, so I think space in general excites kids, but also the possibility that they can take part of this mission, that it's rocket science, but they can understand uh, about the fact that, you know, they need to dream big and follow their dreams. So I think there are a lot of different connections, uh, both for kids that want to go and be scientists and engineers to, sh to see they can actually do things and do them in Israel. You don't need to be in NASA in order to build spacecraft. You can do it here. Uh, but also for, for all the kids, uh, I think that's something that just sparks their imagination and, you know, allow them to have more strength to follow whatever dream they have. Now, also with the, uh, we know with the bear sheet one, there were all of these, you know, the, the flag, they, it had the Torah, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. So is the plan, are, are, like, are there more things that, that, A, you could put on the capsule, but be, you know, experiments that kids could do to also be on the capsule. So on the mission itself, uh, we'll probably have, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we had the time capsule with a lot of knowledge and information and 50,000 books in 37 languages. Uh, and I'm sure we'll work on that also. But in parallel, we're looking into taking scientific experiments with us. Uh, we're looking at all kinds of different experiments. Uh, there was one possibility to take a nanosatellite and deploy it next to the moon so it can be uh, the first Israeli satellite, wow. and when we land uh, later, uh, also to do experiments on uh, the lunar surface, maybe with a rover or other things uh, we're looking into. Uh, so I think also there will be a huge scientific uh, part for this mission. Now also there's a, a very, very large budget, uh, $100 million? So the first mission was $100 million, the second we estimate in around uh, $70 to $80 million. And what else, um, you know, is involved? Like, obviously, you need a lot of money. What's the, you know, what are some of the other aspects of, of planning the mission and where to go and whatnot? So I think, you know, in, in the second mission, we have a lot of knowledge and, uh, and know-how from the first mission and, and also all the things we need to change. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's uh, raising the money and there's building the team. There is the know-how and, and partners. And, you know, uh, we have been partnering the first mission with uh, uh, the Israeli Aerospace Aerospace Industries. We had the support of the Space Agency that also said that they will support the next mission uh, in uh, with 20 million shekels. And uh, so, you know, in the whole industry in Israel and other, a lot of companies around the world that joined together to make the first mission happen and will look to build the same team for the next one. So do you think there's an opportunity for, uh, you know, future astronauts from Israel going on missions as well? So, so totally. Uh, you know, in, in our mission, we're talking still about uh, a robotic spacecraft. Uh, but in general, and you know, with all the kids I meet that they want to be astronaut, I tell them, you know, you should uh, study well. Uh, and, and to be an astronaut, you need to be really good. Uh, it can be in science and, you know, different aspects. But, uh, but I am sure that uh, we will see another astronaut, hopefully soon. I know the space agency is also 
trying to promote that. Uh, so I'm looking forward both to building the next Israeli spacecraft, but also to see more Israelis in space. Wow, amazing. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for joining us all. Very exciting.